Hi there, that's Kiyosha, I'm Shane, and this is the Happiest Mouse YouTube channel. We also have a podcast that we'll put links for in the description below. Welcome to today's episode. On today, we're going to be unboxing a haul of things that Kiyosha got from the Disney... The Disney Outlets. Disney Outlets, yeah. And Box Lunch. So... Yeah, one of these things you're really excited for? Yes. Are we saving that for last... We, there's less stuff from Box Lunch, so I don't know if we want to start or end with that. It's up mm. to you. I feel like that's the thing you were most excited for. Okay, so we'll end with that. And it's like the biggest thing. Okay. Should we give them a hint what it is? It's a lounge fly. Ooh, it's a bag. It is a okay. bag. All right. This is the first one that I have actually purchased. I do have one other that Shane so lovingly purchased. Um, but this is the first one that I have purchased, and I'm pretty excited about it. But... Um, so our Disney store here in Houston actually closed, but I did find at our outlets, um, they do have a Disney outlet store. So we did go, we went last week and then we went, I went again today because, you know, I'm obsessed. So I got this nice, lovely, big Disney store bag that they kind of make you buy when you go. Anyway, so let's get into it. And it's it. full of stuff. It is full of stuff. And this time, it's not actually all for me like it normally is. So, Does that mean I got something? You did get something. Yes. So, I got this little Park Pal. I guess it's a Park Pal, but it's Grogu. He's one of my favorites. I just thought it was really cute. I have the um, Mickey 50th anniversary, so he's going to go in my collection back here. So, that's the first thing. So, what are the, I, I'm, I'm really confused on these things. So, what are they used for? Nothing, they're just cute. It's just a clip to go on any yeah. anything that it can mm -hmm. connect to, huh? Yeah, anything it can connect to. Um, I've seen them on straws before, but I haven't actually tried it. Um, really, my other one was just on my desk at work. Um, and even though his name is Grogu, I think officially it's the child. The child. So this was before they named him in the show, I believe. His name it is... look like you know. The, his name is Grogu. <laughs> Anyway, to add moving to on. moving on, to add to my park pal collections, I also got Minnie. I don't have this is my first Minnie, so she's gonna go next to her Mickey. So very exciting. And if you listen to the podcast, you'll know that Beauty and the Beast is my favorite. So I could not pass up the chip cup. Isn't this adorable? It even has the little chip. I don't. I think you can drink out of it, but I won't be drinking out of it. It's really heavy. Uh, this is one we got last weekend when I went with her. And it, it's quite heavy. I mean, you probably could drink out of it, but it's just one of those kind of cups that has like that rough, that rough yeah. feeling. I don't even know what it, I mean, it's ceramic, but um, it's just, a, it doesn't feel comfortable to hold, if that makes sense. Like, like it's like gritty on the handle. Yeah. And I mean, you can probably hold it this way, but I think it is just more, more for looks. Yeah, yeah. it's more for looks. Um, at least I'm not going to let anybody drink pretty. out of it. And it's pretty. I like it a lot. What um, you got in there? Also, for our upcoming Disney trip, I bought this wallet, this little baby wallet. So I can put my ID there and just a couple of cards. Because I noticed on our last trip, I did have some trouble with bringing my big, my big wallet. And it kind of just, it was just too much to dig through my bag. So I'm going to try this out for our next trip. And it's Mickey. And it's. It's kind of Hawaiian-y. It's got the little leaves and stuff. I thought it was really cute. Um, so, very nice. Yeah, that'll come in handy. Yeah. It does say that it's RFID blocking. So, maybe no one will steal my identity. I don't know. Or steal my credit card numbers. I don't know. Yeah, it's good. So you can put your, your ID or something mm -hmm. there. Or you got a spot for four cards, it looks like. Yep. So, yeah, just enough to have on you. And we will be doing a uh, What Should Go In Your Parks bag video. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure this will be in that video. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you're subscribed so you can see that video when we put it out. Yeah. Also, at the outlet store, they did have some packages of masks. So I did pick those up because we do, at Disney, you do have to wear a mask at all the indoor locations. And then we also have to wear masks to work. So I picked up some more just to have them on hand. So the pack that I got was a Pixar pack and then I got a Star Wars pack. So I'll just show them to you. So let's start with the Star Wars. We got this one. It's 
think that's a Vader. I can't tell from here. Is that upside down? Is it upside or am down? I'm just not seeing it right. It looks like Vader to me. Oh yeah, I think it's this way. That's the eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what, here, I'll put it on so you guys can <laughs> see it a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see this one, but I think I have it on the right way. I think that's the eyes. That's his uh, nose, right? And that's his mouth. So. Does it yeah. Look, mm -hmm. look right? yeah. Yeah. It actually looks nice on you. I think that's going to be your mask. <laughs> Where's the fan when you need it? Um, you know, so you can do the Vader voice. Anyway, um, then this one I thought was really cute. It's got the Death Star, the Millennium Falcon. Very cute. I think this is going to be mine. That is I think, nice. I think I'm going to take on ownership of that one. And then I thought this one was really cute too. I think this will be mine also. May the Force. Oh, sorry. May the Force be with you. That's nice. Very cute. And for, this is my first time seeing these too, just with you. So, yeah, these are nice ones. And then we have to add to our Grogu collection. Very cute. I've actually never seen this one. Um, when we had the Disney store, we did buy some masks. But this is one I've never seen. So I'm very excited about that one. And these all came in packs? Mm hmm Yep. So it was a pack of four for $8. It's not bad. Yep. So, $2 a mask? Yep. It's pretty reasonable. And, and so, these are actually pretty comfortable. Because I, mm -hmm. I know some of the ones we got at the Disney store last time, um weren't really that comfortable. And I got like the largest adult size they had mm -hmm. there. And so I don't know if it was just, you probably, <clears throat> I'm probably muffling my voice here. I'm going to put this one on just so you guys can see it a little bit better. But um, yeah, they, some of the ones I got weren't that comfortable. So maybe maybe it was, maybe I grabbed the wrong size and thought I'd grab the big one, but these are pretty, these are pretty comfortable. Now we did buy those at the beginning of the pandemic. So I don't know if they changed up. I want to say that they changed up their design um, based on customer feedback. On the mask so those might have been some of the earlier runs i think maybe but um i figured you couldn't go wrong with masks so i bought some masks today but um so here's the pixar one we actually do have this mask already um the pizza pizza planet but maybe we can have matching masks i think well, i wore that one yesterday actually oh did you yeah so we can have matching it's one of our favorite things anyway so Planet. Pizza Planet. And I thought this one was super, super, super adorable. It's Buzz Lightyear. I do have it. I do have yeah. it upright. <laughs> um, we're. I'm very excited. Toy Story is one of our favorites. So yeah. I'm really excited about the new Lightyear movie. Me that's too. Out. Can't I wait, can't, can't wait to see it. One. So um, follow us on all the socials so that way you can see our review after we watch that one. And what's our Instagram account name? Our Instagram account name is the Happiest Mouse. The Happiest Mouse. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be sure to put. Links down in the description below as well. Yep. Now we do also have this one, the Up Mask. But again, this is another one that is one of our all-time favorites. So matching mask might be kind of cute on this one too. I we mean, do. it's almost a classic right now. Yeah. Is it not, maybe not quite a classic, but it's, I mean, it's yeah. one of Pixar's better movies. And actually, this would be a cute park outfit because we do have Carl and Ellie shirts Um that I made for us for a previous trip. So That's this right. would be really cute to go with those shirts. So, yep. And then the least favorite of all of the masks that we probably will be giving away um, is this Coco mask. So. Oh, I like that. You do a giveaway? Yeah. Okay, I won't put it on then. Yeah, don't put it on. <laughs> um, so make sure you're following us on Instagram because we'll probably do the giveaway over there. Yeah, so that's it for the masks. Now to some of the fun, fun parts. So we've been talking a lot about my stuff. So let's get into the stuff that I got for Shane. So number one, I think we'll start with this one. That one's for you. All right. Oh, it, it's a shirt. Oh, you want to see more? Okay. <laughs> it's a Star Wars shirt. It's pretty cool. I like that. It's half uh, Boba Fett and half uh, the Mandalorian from the Mandalorian series. So that's really cool. I like that. I don't know what it says. I, I, I do like Star Wars. I wouldn't say I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Like, I don't know all of the uh, Star Wars lore and all that. But I, I do enjoy it. Um, I for, someone helped me in the comments here. I don't I forget what the language is on these shirts. I'm sure it's... Is it the similar language that they have in Batu? Um, you know, Star Wars Land at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Um, so I'm not sure what that says. Maybe it says uh, Mandalorian. But if you know what that says, let me know in the... Let us know in the comments below. But yeah, I like that. It feels really comfortable too. Mm -hmm. 
And I have to say that I was pretty excited when I went today and I found these sh this particular shirt, especially because I do have a hard time finding shirts um, for Shane. So, um... So, so I'm a big boy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not fat. I'm extra magical. Yes. Yeah. He's extra magical, which makes it a little more challenging to find um, things for him. So it's pretty exciting. And then I also have one more shirt for him. Classic. Classic, Classic Mickey. Mickey Mouse. I like that. Very cute. I like that. So I think I have two shirts for our next Walt Disney World trip coming up. I'll probably wear yeah. both of these. Or Disneyland. Disneyland. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Um, and now back to me because, you know. Now, we got this shirt, that sh this sweatshirt that Shane is wearing from Epcot on our last Disney World trip. It's so comfortable. If you have an opportunity to get the sweatshirt, this is probably one of the most most comfortable Sweatshirts I've ever owned. Like it's so, it's so soft, soft in the inside. <laughs> so soft. Um, so soft. Um, so I'll tell. I'll talk more about it on our um, next um, podcast episode where we where we go over the rest of our Walt Disney World trip. But I did have a chance to wear this sweatshirt, and I almost stole it. Anyway, so because of that, I actually bought this sweatshirt, and it's the Minnie Mouse. It's not 50th anniversary. Or anything like that, but I just thought it was a little bit better for them to see. I think there we go. I just thought it was so adorable. I actually saw it on Shop Disney online, and so I was really excited to find it in the store. Yeah, that's so. nice. And it says Minnie Mouse on the on the, on the sleeve on the, on the arm there. If you can see that, let me. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to get that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, total fail, but. There you go. There you go. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah, that's cute. It's very cute. I probably will be wearing that um, to our next trip because it might be a little cold in California when we go. So we're we'll actually going to be at Disneyland a week from today. Yes, we are going to be at Disneyland next Saturday. We're super excited. Um, also, something I saw on Shop Disney that I almost bought and I'm so glad I didn't because it was cheaper at the outlet is this Mickey sweater. How cute is this cardigan? Oh, well, that's cute. It's comfy. I mean, it feels soft too. It's so adorable. This, I'm like so excited about this sweater. I love cardigans. I know here in here in Houston, it does get really hot, but this time of year, I do wear a lot of cardigans. Just real easy to put it on, take it off. It it just, that's I just nice. love it. I and wish I could wear it to work, but I cannot. <laughs> and it has it has like some speckled colors in it. I don't know if you can see that, like some greens and pinks and whites and brown. I mean, it's it's nice. It's really cute. I think it's gonna look really cute with my ears that I have picked out for our trip. So, yes, very excited about that. And then the last thing in my bag are two pins, and um. You'll come to find out one of my other favorite movies is Rescuers Down Under. And so I got this pin that is Rescuers Down Under. I thought it was super cute. Um, just to add to my collection. Or I should say our collection. So that's that one. She tries to steal all my pins. That's why she says my collection. Well, all of our pin collection is behind us. So, you know. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in trading any... Please let me know in the comments below. I do have some traders. They're not pictured here, but if you'd like to trade, let me know. This one I've never seen before. I saw it this at the outlet store. I thought it was really cute. It's 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 um a cereal box. So it's like it says start your day with Disney. And so it's cocoa chips, like cocoa puffs, but with chip. And you can actually open it. Oh. <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. And you see the little, the, the Beauty and the Beast rose there and engraved on the inside. So I just thought that was That's a really nice. unique pin. Um, it even has a little, I, I'm not sure what this is, a little ice cream or whipped cream or something that dangles from the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that. But I just thought it was so cute. Um, so that's going to be added to our collection yeah, I'm not it's sure. It's gray what. stuff. I don't know. It might be gray stuff. It's delicious. It is delicious. I plan on having some gray stuff next time I go to um, Disney World. Anyway, so yes, so that's 
the um, outlet store, which I thought was pretty exciting. I did talk to a few of the uh, crew members today or cast members, and they did tell me that they get new merchandise once a week, which is not a good thing to tell me because that means that I might need to go more often. So let me know if you, you want to see more of this on the channel or not. Um, if you want to see more of it, then definitely I'll go um, go more often. Anyway, so now on, on to the big box. Oh. So yeah, this is a really big box. I'm not too impressed with the uh, shipping or however they... They did it. I did oh, open, open this. All the way. I did open it. <laughs> I thought. And where did you order this from? This you is from you? Box Lunch. Box Lunch, right? Mm -hmm. You can say that. Um, and this is. She's told me like five times. She's been like so excited. It's coming in a couple days. Yesterday, it's coming tomorrow. And this is for our Disneyland trip. Um, I did buy this. Well, one of the items I bought specifically for our Disneyland trip. So, Ooh, there's more um, than one item in here? There is more than one item. Let's we'll start with the smaller item. Okay. Let me get um, some of this packing packaging. Yeah. So that's going to be a smaller item. That's a smaller item. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry about the noise. Um, so this is one of, again, I have a collection. I have an obsession. But whatever. I just thought this was so cute. It says, it's Belle, and it says, sorry, I'm fully booked. Um, so I just thought it was really cute. That's cute. So. Oh, this, and she's like metallic-y. Yeah. So. That's not a word, I don't think. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this one will, I will actually be using for a coffee cup. But um, I just thought it was really cute. We do have a nice large collection of coffee cups. Um, most of them are Disney or places we've been. So it's very, very fun collection. So that's one of the items. That's nice. That's really nice, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna have to steal it. No. All right. So it's my lounge pad. I don't think you can tell because it's all wrapped in plasticky. But let's get into it. We probably should have really opened this stuff before we uh, unbox it, but as you can see, it's a true unboxing yes. video. Yes. Well, that's a nice color. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm so excited. Isn't it so cute? It's an up that's bag. Up. So super cute. This is a different style than my other one. I like that it's flat like this in front. I love this artwork that's in front. It's just, it's different and I really like it a lot. Um, so this will be my park bag for our trip in one week. And let's take a look on the inside. I do believe this is a box lunch exclusive, um, but it was on sale and I had a, um, a coupon. Um, so I got an extra discount on this bag, so. And I don't know if it's coming through real quick, sorry, mm -hmm. on the camera there, but there's two patches. They're like the like embroidery patches that is textured, right? right? It's almost, it's coming yeah. off, it's raised, I guess. That's what I'm looking for. So you got the Wilderness Badge and then uh, Camp Paradise Falls. Oh, yeah, of yeah. course, from the movie. Yeah, that's yeah. cute. Yeah, really nice. Really oh. nice. So, oh, there's one. Oh, I'm taking mm -hmm. over your bag. I'm sorry. <laughs> and there's one on the side, Seek Adventure. That's cool. Okay, sorry. No problem, no problem. That's nice. I like I, I'm glad that he's excited about my bag too because this is going to become an addiction, I think. Anyway, the inside is um, pretty pretty simple. You can't really tell on camera, but there's a little, like, inside here. It looks a little, like, um, nature-y, like a waterfall almost. It's very light. I'm not seeing it. Up here, it, it's very light, but most of the pick, most of the lounge flies do have a lining. This one is a little bit um, less. There's not really too much excitement going on in there, but it does have the inner pocket, this little inner pocket there. Um, so I'm excited to use this and let you know how it goes. Um, it looks really roomy in here. Yeah, so. it's a little bit, seems a little bit bigger than a normal lounge mm -hmm. fly, so that's good. Well, I like this one because it was flat. 
The other lounge fly that I have is a little bit smaller. It has the front pocket, but I wasn't able to um, use that the way I wanted to. Um, and this one I think will fit my water bottle a little bit better um, for the park. So definitely I'll give you a full user review once I use it. But I also like this little handle on top. I just think it's so cute. But yes, so this is the park bag for the newest trip. Nice. So. And I don't know if you noticed, they have like a little Pixar logo here. That's really cool. Yeah. So you'll be seeing lots of this bag in our upcoming photos and pictures and things. So, but yeah, that's all I have for this week for this haul. Um, like I said before, make sure you follow us on Instagram, the happiest mouse. That way you can see this bag in action. Um, also the ears and sweatshirt in action. Cause this is my, um, this is going to be my outfit for DCA. So Adventures Campus, first time. Very excited. Yep. Um, but yeah, so that's our haul for, for today. What you got for him, Shane? Anything yeah. else? That's it. So like Kiesha said, make sure you're following us on social and Instagram at The Happiest Mouse. We'll be posting all of our stuff that we're doing next week at California, at Disneyland, and California Adventure. We're going to be there uh, enjoying some of the food for the Lunar New Year Festival. We're looking forward to that. So make sure you're following us there. We'll be posting all kinds of things, maybe even go live if we have time. But if you like unboxing, like Disney, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll put all of our links down below, especially even for our podcast, also The Happiest Mouse. Until next time, stay happy.